Ahoy hoy and welcome to the video. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we are going to go over the dankest memes from the dank memes from Site19 subreddit. Let's get started. So that concludes my colleague's research on pataphysics. You're saying we're fictional characters for a writing project of some kind? Did you not listen to a word he said? Hmm, makes sense. <laughs> I th you know, uh, this is a zeal meme, but there's a good question to be had here is like, okay, so if pataphysics exists in universe and they know that they're fictional characters but to what level does the fiction go because there's fiction in so now it's fiction inside of fiction right because obviously they're not characters in a they are characters in a writing project but in a sense the overarching writing project doesn't have to be ours right uh <laughs> or in this case where people make memes about pataphysics now you're adding a second or third layer to your pataphysical discussions to the point where it started to get impossible to determine what is and isn't real um i like pataphysics as a concept i, I feel like it's overdone i think a lot of people uh came to that conclusion after a time i really do feel like it's overdone though like too much too too much focus on the science of it has sort of rendered it less interesting to me. Now, I, that, that is to say, I've certainly written um, speak to the audience as a fictional character articles before because this has given me the opportunity to do that as a concept that I didn't come up with this as a concept. This is what Gears' uh, proposal that's like, huh, are everyone, uh, there are, God is a horror writer. <laughs> but um, I mean, Again, I think I think there's there's too much of this on the SCP wiki. And interestingly, it kind of has fallen by the wayside over time. So I'm sure a lot of the people have decided the same thing. But um, it is still an incredibly interesting concept. I think there's a lot of individual stories that can be told about it. Uh, less as a uh, sort of system or as part of an organizational trope with regards to the SCP Foundation. Um, me trying to look at images on SCP wiki when wiki dot decides to have a wiki dot moment reaction underscore image dot PNG. I have, this is a shoulder meme, by the way. Uh, I have so many articles on the SCP wiki that require, you know, images or the, the first thing, but then there's audio files. There's one of mine. SCP 245 is a full on RPG maker video game. You have to download. Um, and every once in a while, I'll look in the comments and someone will be like, well, I can't download this game. It doesn't exist on the server. And I'm like, it does exist. It's just that Wikidot at the time that person was looking at it was having a Wikidot. Uh, <laughs> and at some point, maybe, you know, uh, tomorrow or uh, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. But uh, we're going to move the SCP Wiki to its own independent website. When that actually happens, I have no idea because... The SCP Wiki, <laughs> the SCP Wiki has been about to move in a year or a month or a day uh, to a new website for about 10 to 14 years. What is it? 2023. I mean, 15 years. They've been talking about moving off ever since the very first post. Uh, so uh, and, and and it's just never fully come about because it's some volunteers you get, you're asking volunteers to come up with a, a, a sophisticated professional website uh it, during their off time which can happen but the problem is is it takes so long that none of the people you have working on it get finished with it before they lose interest in the scp wiki and move on uh the only way you're going to be able to keep their interest is by you know paying them <laughs> I, I i personally believe that i mean eventually they'll get it right regardless but if you want to get it in a timely manner you probably need to pay someone um, and they're never going to do that. So, because the, there is no mechanism on the SCP wiki to pick up money. But the other half of this is actually, if we're going to go for, uh, less from the technical standpoint and more from like a fictional standpoint, we can go back to the previous meme where we're talking about pataphysics or the SCP wiki is actually a writing project and all the characters exist inside. What happens when the images in the SCP wiki goes away? What happens then, Dave? It's an interesting thought. Maybe I should write something along those lines one of these days. Axolotl lover, uh, hard to swallow pills. SCP-999 doesn't have eyes. Strictly speaking, I don't think that's true. So, and you'd be like, yeah, it doesn't say it in the, yeah, it doesn't say it in the article. But the lack, it doesn't say in the article that SCP-999 
doesn't have eyes. It simply doesn't say in the article that SCP-999 has eyes. It is possible that that detail was left out. Uh, it's unlikely, uh, but there's certainly an interpretation where that's just left out because having eyes makes it far easier for you to identify with uh, your friendly neighborhood blob, uh, or your, I'm sorry, your friendly neighborhood cuddle blob, I guess. Uh, it's hard to... It's, gosh, I should title an article, not an article, but an S, uh, a tale that your friendly neighborhood cuddle blob and write about SCP-999. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, no, I mean, it, it, it could have eyes. You don't know. The world is about to end, but at least it's beautiful outside. SCP-001, the world's gone beautiful. SCP-001, when day breaks. So uh, this uh, meme is by Lily was taken. I would like to say that the world's gone beautiful is actually worse, objectively. And you might be like, how is that entirely possible? Well, first of all, in the world's gone beautiful, the world will end, period. Everyone will die. There will be no more tomorrows, uh, no children born, no laughs made. No one will, no one will enjoy anything ever again. The end of the world has happened. And when day breaks, while it is more visceral, there is an invasive sort of end of the world happening. It is happening, not absolutely has happened or is, you know, going to happen and end. Uh, when day breaks, exists people are still alive their their lives are not great but they're still there and i feel like the world's gone beautiful personally when i read it i thought the world's gone beautiful was significantly worse than when day breaks uh when day when the world i think the world's gone beautiful came first maybe but uh regardless when i read them i remember thinking well, why would anyone prefer this over <laughs> because at least when day breaks you have a shot i'd rather have a chance yeah, that's what I'm saying. What if North Korea stopped existing today in the entire SCP Foundation? Now, this is very broken masquerade. Although, I do have to wonder how much they... <laughs> I have to wonder to myself, like, how much this would matter? Because, I mean, this is a this is a YouTube short, so it's no more lo longer than a minute. By the way, the meme is by Mr. Muda uh, himself, version 3. Or V3, uh, specifically. Um, but yeah, no, it's it, it's interesting that this video is only a minute long. So it can't be that much stuff that would go wrong if... <laughs> I guess if North Korea stopped existing... It, it depends on how you define stop existing. Does the physical location stop existing? So does South Korea now just have a coast on their northern uh, border? If so, that would be probably catastrophic for a variety of reasons. But uh, for South Korea... Um, or does it just stop existing as a political entity? I mean, I'm assuming this is probably more realistic. I'm going to guess. I, don't, I haven't watched the video. But I'm going to guess this little YouTube short is probably more realistic and more like, what if the regime of North Korea uh, collapsed? Or it could, not, could be the other thing. I don't know. But it very much depends. But the entire SCP Foundation uh, having its problem being like, oh no, the masquerade is broke. <laughs> I mean, maybe I've never really particularly liked Broken Masquerade's uh, premise. I mean, oh, let me put it this way. I don't mind the Broken Masquerade as a concept. I, the premise that North Korea disappears and that's what triggers everything. It, it doesn't work for me because I feel like. <sighs> what's the best way to put this? The idea that a singular event could drive. And, and I'm sure there is more detail in the actual article itself. Uh, but the idea that a singular event can drive the full-on unveiling of the anomalous doesn't really work. Because you could s totally sell it as a one-off event. Something weird happened. Magic isn't real. Physics may need to adjust itself a little bit. But something, there's a rule for it, right? If there's just a single singular event and that's all you, and that's all you have to worry about. And in this case, that's the thing. There's one public singular event. Then... You can explain it away because there's a rule for that one thing that happened. <laughs> but anyway, new researcher gets assigned to a poorly understood SCP. They perform the standard tests. They notice something unusual about the SCP and try to investigate it. They end up dead. Newly researched. New researcher gets assigned to a poorly understood SCP. Uh, Pivot OB's meme. Uh, oh, and it's got the little watermark in the middle. Good for you. Um, yeah, no, the... 
The problem with the like series one ish style articles that do this is that it doesn't really work from a logical standpoint. I mean, okay. An individual story about researchers being thrown into a meat grinder works. But when there are 150 stories ostensibly set in the same ish universe, there is no canon, so each individual article is its own, but a lot of them reference each other, um, you start to lose that sense of believability because eventually you're going to run out of experts. And by expert, people who have gone to be educated in these particular fields, you're going to run out of researchers. I mean, you, we talk about D-class, you're going to run out of D-class too, eventually. I mean, there's not an infinite number of people in the world who fulfill very, very narrow requirements that you need in order to do these things. Uh, and that's the problem. There's a, there's a lot of problems with the, the not a problem problem, because it's, uh, it's a problem in as much as the, oh gosh, what's the best way to put this? So the SCP Wiki as a collaborative fiction site allows for a lot of stories, a lot of different stories. Problematically, though, because it's an amateur writing site, a lot of the stories aren't different. They're just the same because someone reads a story, likes it, and wants to write something like it. And so they write it like something like it and so on and so forth. This is a little bit like the uh, Gamers Against Weed Little Misters problem. Uh, the Little Misters being filled, being a list filled out and everything was uh, its own little gimmick. And everybody got addicted to the idea of trying to fill out the list. And then the Gamers Against Weed came out with their very first uh, sort of a joke Little Mister thing. And the satire was, isn't it ridiculous that, or at least to me, it felt like, I mean, I can't speak to what the author was intending, but to me, the satire was that, isn't it ridiculous that there's this list of things that people think that they have to fill out? And then over the next couple of years, people filled that list out too. So the entirety of the satire was lost because people always want to get in, they want to be involved in a thing. Uh, and that came, comes from this too. You write, you read a story, a well-written one about a new researcher being assigned to a poorly understood SCP, dying, and then watching the SCP Foundation run them uh, through like a meat grinder. And there's good reflections on what that means for uh, the SCP Foundation or what it means for society that we're that uh, callous or that we find it entertaining. It's just a good, say, well, I'm, a fictional story. I'm, I, it's, it's, of course, it's a fictional story, but I mean, uh, on a second level, meta level, this isn't a story that I'm, I'm not naming anything particular, but let's say there's a good story about this. So someone reads it and they're not as good a writer and then they write one and it's fine. It's not bad. It's, it's upvote worthy for some people and it's enough to stay on the site. And then somebody else reads that one and then they want to write it again. And they're not a great writer and it's not great. But somehow it stays on the site. And then someone reads that and they go like, oh, this is interesting too. And it's so on and so forth. You get this degradation. And even when you don't get degradation, you get 150 very samey stories. <laughs> I just, it, it's, it's, it's a whole, that is the problem with collaborative fiction uh, in the amateur writing sphere. Uh, and there's really no solution to it because these people are just writing to get better. But it's making the overall canon, even though there isn't, Again, an overall canon, but there is a sense of like a general idea of a certain number of things that are definitely true. And this is one of them. The SCP Foundation just throws people at problems. Anyway, I've gone into that way too long. Uh, this one is by Super Donut 725. Uh, Google Samir, my brain, Samir. Ian, Ian, Dr. Samarian. Dr. Cinnamon. Yeah, um, I was talking to somebody on Discord recently, and they were insisting that it was pronounced Camarian. Uh, that is a potential possible pronunciation, but it is not the accepted pronunciation of the word. Um, and more importantly, people just love to call me Dr. Cinnamon for some reason. It's not a huge deal to me. Um, I've just started to basically ignore it at this point. <laughs> um, uh, but I always like when people are trying to figure out how to pronounce my name. Uh, I say, think of the word Sumerian, like the Sumerian culture in uh, in in the Mesopotamian, uh, uh, along the Euphrates, was it Euphrates and the Tigris? Um, 
and again, that might be a little bit too, it's like, to make it easier on you, think of this ancient culture and their name. No, but it's the only, it's the closest word I can come up with. But think of the Sumerians and then just change the U into an I and it's Sumerian. You're good. In fact, you could probably say Sumerian and I probably would only barely notice the difference. Uh, it's that close of pronunciation. But yeah, that's the easy way to do it. Is this the last one? Of course it's the last one. Perfect. The last one is about me. That makes it the best one. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Again, thank you, Super Donut 725 for making a meme about me. And uh, thank you all for uh, watching the videos. I know I've been a little inconsistent recently. It's become, I've realized now that I've got everything settled. I feel really terrible all the time, but that's not really here or there. Um, but now that I got everything settled, it's it's gotten really difficult to get back into a posting rhythm. And I've got to do it. I've just got to go back to Tuesdays and Thursdays. So with any luck, we will have a video out next Tuesday. In fact, I promise you that <laughs> unless some life changing circumstances happens, I'm putting a video out next Tuesday. I'm going to just start saying that at the end of the video, because I have a very strong opinion about like breaking your word. So maybe that'll do it. I promise you. Tuesday, you will have a video for me. Not, 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 not none of this wishy-washy stuff. Outside of life-changing circumstances, like another, another tree tries to kill me or I have to go to the hospital or something. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash decimarian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who has pledged at $100. It is nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Tuesday. Promise.